What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, apparently, some reports have uh, came out today saying that Matt Riddle was originally supposed to win the Men's World Rumble this year. Let's check this out on ringsidenews.com and uh, let's get right into this. Matt Riddle was planned to win the 2022 Men's Royal Rumble match. The 2022 Men's Royal Rumble match went through a lot of changes during the creation process. There is also a ton of heat on Shane McMahon, which I've already did a video about that. Make sure you guys check it out. It's a previous video. Now, because of how he handled the booking process, Seth Rollins was also booked for the match during a certain time, but he wasn't booked to win. Oh, so maybe Seth Rollins was maybe supposed to be in there. I'm not sure. That's crazy. I didn't know Seth Rollins was supposed to be booked within that match after him being destroyed by Roman Reigns at the beginning of the pay-per-view, but apparently they changed things. Um, according to PW Insider, Matt Riddle was the original winner of the 2022 Men's Royal Rumble match. Obviously, that didn't happen. The original plan for the Men's Rumble winner was Riddle. PWInsider.com has learned. Plans were changed over the course of the week a ton of times with the final decision to have Brock Lesnar enter and win as a surprise. At one point, there was a pitch for Randy Orton to win as well, but Riddle was the front runner until the switch back to Brock was made, which I can see why they would do Randy because he was he was a hometown favorite, you know what I'm saying? So I can see why they would do that, but I also understand them going with Matt Riddle um, initially. This is interesting because a recent report from uh, WrestleVotes uh, said that Riddle versus Randy Orton for the WWE title was pitched. The thinking is RK Bros split and eventual match uh, needs those stakes attached. Honestly, I wouldn't have picked Matt Riddle as the person to win this year's Royal Rumble, but I wouldn't have been mad if he did. Imagine a scenario where it's RK Bro, they're left in there, Randy Orton, Matt Riddle, not shaming man and maybe somebody else maybe aj styles or or drew mcintyre or like the last four or whatever and randy orton gets eliminated by maybe drew or some or somebody else and then the last two is matt riddle and maybe aj styles or drew and matt riddle gets the dub imagine that the only reason why i don't have matt riddle eliminate randy because it you you don't want to kind of telegraph that feud so yet like readily but it's in the back of people's mind and of course i think the crowd would have booed even more only because it was randy was in his hometown so you know it, it would have made sense for riddle to get that that unexpected pop without getting extra booze and people still associate matt riddle with randy orton and then apparently now uh wwe has announced that uh brock lesnar not brock lesnar bobby lashley will be defending his wwe championship in the elimination chamber what you could do or what they could have did have randy orton you know enter in the royal uh the elimination chamber or whatnot and have him become the champion granted that is a little bit of hot potato in with the wwe championship still it would work because then matt riddle can figure out who he's gonna choose but we kind of know he's gonna go at you know, Randy Orton, if Randy Orton was the champion, he won at the Elimination Chamber, got the title from Bobby Lashley. Randy Orton versus Matt Riddle for the WWE Championship, that would be cool. And then you can really start playing up that story. It, it makes sense for Matt Riddle to want to challenge Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. You know what I'm saying? It just makes sense. So, I don't know. I think that would have been an, it would have been a better story. Of course, some people would say, is that main event worthy? Will that be able to sell seats into the stadium? Well, here's the thing. It can be main event worthy if it's booked correctly. People like RK, bro. People have been invested in them as a tag team more than I ever expected. So the fact that people are invested in them already, people are going to want to see Randy Orton, you know, saying once again, I get it. Oh, he's going to be headline WrestleMania. But if he's putting over Matt Riddle, you're creating a new star. So it works. I get it. Him being another champion, a, a, a multi-time champion, he shouldn't have the belt. But if he's putting over Matt Riddle, which I think they would have did if they went that route, 
Matt Riddle becomes a bigger star because of it. He's become a bigger star with him teaming up with Randy. There's no doubt about it. He is definitely, Randy has helped his star power. Now he wins the Royal Rumble. He faces his former tag team champion partner in Randy Orton, one of the best to ever do it. And he beats him at WrestleMania this year? That would have been amazing. R Matt Riddle would have got his moment, and hopefully they would have continued to book him correctly. But that's just how I would have did it. This sounds way better than Brock winning because, once again, Brock is Brock Lesnar. You guys want, well, Vince wants uh, Roman versus Brock. You can still have that match. You can still have it without him winning a Royal Rumble. I'm going to just be honest with you. You can. There's, there's no way around that. It's Brock Lesnar. They, If you guys remember, he came back before they went to Saudi uh, last year. And I think it was like October uh, for the crown jewel. He came back and declared himself as the number one contender. And who was going to tell him no? Like, it's Brock, so he has that free range. So if you really wanted to do that, you didn't have to have him win the Royal Rumble. I just think it really kind of messes over uh, newer talent, a.k.a. Matt Riddle, because that would have been a great spot for him to win. But comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys agree with my fantasy booking here? Would you guys be okay with Randy Orton winning at the Elimination Chamber and facing Matt Riddle if he would have won the Royal Rumble? And how you guys would have, you know, enjoyed that compared to what we ended up getting. Because I, I just think Matt Riddle definitely got screwed over. And it looks like this was a last minute change. And just to know you're not even going to win it. And someone else that lost their title is going to have win the Royal Rumble this year. kind of sucks. So comment down below. Let me know uh, what you guys think about this whole situation. Appreciate it. Our love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.